America is battling a disease of oppression, racism, white supremacy. Organize, 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 because the levers of the federal government are now in the hands of a man who doesn't really care about women, black people, uh, immigrants, Muslims. He doesn't. But you need that wall to stop the human trafficking, to stop the drugs, to stop the wrong people. Uh, so there's a long, long history of uh, contributions that uh, Latinos have made to, to this country that continues to be uh, unrecognized. We problem in this country, it's called Muslims. They just want to continue on this myth of Muslims being these dangerous um, people. Unfortunately, that kind of rhetoric has um, unleashed a part of our society that feels now more comfortable speaking hate in the mainstream. We had one teacher in Georgia, a Muslim teacher, came back to her classroom and found a note on her desk telling her to hang herself with her own hijab. It's really about whether we're going to let ourselves be manipulated into being divided or whether we're going to come together and fight for good treatment for everyone. I don't think that engaging with a, a Trump, any tr Trump supporter, um, and starting off with you are a racist is, is productive. People who stay silent in the face of Trump's extremism are accepting it. That's what they're doing. They're sanctioning it. This idea that if in order for me to have something, you can't have it, um, feels like sort of at the core of a lot of what's happening with America right now. Societies that have embraced diversity become more economically prosperous. What we can do is all become teachers and educate and extend the knowledge that we have as individuals to one person at a time.